Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Will or Jim Softs on RS, and uh, I'm here with a podcast with Dan. Yo! And we're just going to be talking about uh, pretty much EOC and 07, um, you know, things we like, dislike about it, um, just basically the work. So uh, it, this is a, it's, it's in a podcast form, so basically just sit back, relax. I'm going to be doing some crafting in the background. Um, I don't think, Dan, you're not recording, right? No, I'm not recording. Uh, he's not recording, but he is back to EOC. Uh, his link will be in the description, so I won't forget that. And um, yeah, so I think Dan wanted to start. Yeah, uh, I was just wanted to talk about because there's a lot of controversy between EOC and 07 players, and I guess like you know, Will, I made a video a lot of people have about 07 dying. Yeah. And uh, firsthand experience, I, I quit 07 uh, about a, you know like a week or two ago. It was mainly because I didn't have any money, but at the same time. It really, there really was nothing to do, so I decided to transfer as a strong 07 supporter back to EOC to actually test it out, to actually see how it's going. So really, this is just kind of the figuring out how it is and learning about it, because there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff to learn about EOC that I never thought. So it's gonna be an experience. Yeah, and I mean, I was all for 07 at one point, like just hardcore 07 all the time, and then you know I just like every now and then I would pop on EOC just to see how it was. And like people wanted me to play it, so then I started giving it a try again, and I just like I realized like this is like what's fun to me. Like 07 is cool, but there's not like much happening over there. Like, there's not there's any no updates. Yeah, there's not any updates, so I don't want to play a game that's not being updated. Like I want to play 07, but I want there to be more to do on 07 than just you know the basic fundamentals of RuneScape. Like it's... what? I don't know, 07 for me, it just got boring because it's either UPK or you just do Barrows. Like, that's, it's really, there's really not much to do, and the controversy is uh, people are complaining about God, God Wars coming in, overpowered weapons, but 07 just, it's not meant to continue on. There's kind of a point where you stop because you've done everything you wanted to do, but EOC continues to do things, and that's really what the difference yeah. is. There's just nothing to do on 07 after a while, and retraining is probably the worst thing ever. Yeah. Like, coming like, from maxed out to, like, 50 attack, 43 strength, blah, 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 it's uh, actually, like, annoying. That having to do quests is extremely annoying. Like, the, the combat part of it wasn't, like, extremely bad, but it's, like, those little other skills that you need for quests, like farming and stuff, I just didn't want to do it again, because it just takes forever. It's a hassle. Yeah. And, I mean, I, compl I, I said people that complain about re re uh training skills to 99 or whatever it's easy but after i thought about it it's actually really annoying it's probably the most annoying thing ever because you took time and effort to get 99 and now you have to do it all over again and it's really annoying what i what i don't like understand about some people is that they look at eoc as a completely different game than runescape like eoc is runescape it's the real runescape like, no matter how people look at it, EOC is what RuneScape was, and it's still the same thing. It's just updated. Yeah. Like, 07, like, we we already did that. Like, I don't think people, people, like, it was popular, it was popping for, like, a couple months. I'd say, like, yeah, the first big. two or three months. And then it just started to completely fall. And that's because there's not enough going on. Like, I know a lot of people didn't want God Wars. Now, I think people want God Wars. Yeah, it would help out a lot, and to see like the, the the rares and stuff like the party hats, the Halloween masks, like that thing is cool and all, but it's not like it's it's not gonna make me want to go back. Like I want to have a full commitment to it. Like I want something to be there that's like, yo, I definitely want to play 07 right now, and just nothing's doing that for me. Yeah, uh, I mean. 07, like, I don't know. It'd be cool to have God Wars, but I think the people that only play 07 is because they don't want to learn it for EOC, and they just want to PK. It's really 07 is. It's just, you either PK or you really don't do anything. I mean, I know you can do a lot more things, but that's really why people were excited for it. I was thinking about this earlier, and it was people who play 07, like, mainly the, like, YouTubers that play 07 now, um, a majority, I'm not saying all of them, but, like, a majority of them, are because that's what people want to see and they know if they go back to EOC then they're gonna get like bad ratings and stuff like I went through it when I made 07 videos for like two months straight and then I went back to EOC I got a lot of like dislikes and stuff and I realized that 
Like I'm just I'm gonna have to deal with it until it goes away because I don't I don't I don't think it's fair because I started off as an EOC channel. Well, not all EOC, but I, I made EOC videos before I made 07 videos. So for people to just turn around and dislike it because it's EOC doesn't make any sense. But I think a lot of people are still playing 07 for the reason that they need content. Like they know that they themselves would want to take a break. Like if they could, they would take a break from it. But their videos would suffer, and they don't want to. They don't want to take that risk. I mean, I got more views when I made EOC videos. As crazy as it sounds. Yeah. I was averaging like 1k, like 900 to over 1.5k. Not every video, but you know, I was getting like at least a thousand views. That's when I first started. Yeah, like the money making guides and stuff. And then 07, I will admit it's forced content. Like, a lot of people are starting to realize that 07 isn't gonna be the content people want to see. Like, more people want 07. And I think a lot of people went to 07 from EOC, and they said EOC sucks is because I don't know. When you first started playing RuneScape, I started in 2006 like mid 2007 so that's when I fell in love with the game and people think that you're gonna actually fall in love with the game again but in reality when you're younger you didn't know anything so everything was cool and new and now it's just you log on and you know exactly where to go what to do and it's not a challenge because you know what to do yeah I think that's why I got born there's no challenge well I mean when I when I first heard that 07 was coming out like I was so pumped like I was so ready for it and then like gradually they would update like little things here and there and it was fun at first, like, everybody didn't mind playing a non-updated game because there was still so much for them to do, like, getting their first starting levels and really getting everything started. But then after, like, a lot of people realized, like, this game isn't really going anywhere, like, it was kind of fun, now I don't know what to do. And, like, for me, I just went back to EOC because I like both of them. Like, I won't favor yeah. one over the other. So that's why I didn't really have a problem. And EOC, I've been having a lot of fun, like... When I, when I started to come back to EOC a lot, like, I was having more fun than I had in, like, a long time. Yeah. And I feel like if people would just get over the fact of being scared to, like, well, I, I've i hated EOC or I hate 07, so I don't want to go to either one because it's going to make me look like a hypocrite. Like, just just do it. Like, if you want to play it, just play it. Like, nobody nobody's no really going to care. That comment's not going to make you stop you from playing a game that you like to play. That's at the end of the day. Exactly. Like, I chose to play EOC again because it's what was fun to me. And if I want to go back to 07, then I'll go back to 07. Like, I still want to, like, PK and stuff over there and, like, train some stuff. Uh, but there's only, a, like, a select things content-wise I could do over on 07. There's a lot of stuff I could do on EOC. So that's why I like it a lot, too. I don't know. I, I just got really, really bored of it and just kind of need to try something new. Yeah. Yes, yeah, me. And uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. Whoop. All right, guys, and we're back. Had a little commercial break, but um, we're here again. Now I'm doing some smithing, but um, I got a new topic. Dan doesn't even know what it is yet, but it, I, I'm just going to, like, throw Let it me. at him. I'm going to throw it at you. You ready for it? I'm ready. Okay. Where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, like, job-wise, or where living? Like, normal, like, living, like, job, house, kids, like, whatever it is, just, like... Well, I gotta go to school first, I gotta go to community college, and then I'm, I'll probably be, like, in a four-year, I can guarantee that. Alright. I'll be chilling at home with, with the moms in my four-year university, and, uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. I mean, I wanna... I don't know what I want to go for. I mean, a lot, you know a lot of people say, like, when they're younger, they know what they want to go to school for and stuff like that? Yeah. I thought I wanted to go for computers, but at the moment, I have no clue. I completely changed my mind. So, yeah. Where are you, Will? Well, <laughs> I, myself, like, in five years from now, I see nothing. Nothing, you don't know. <laughs> Um, won't you, what? Won't you be going to your like first or second year of college if you go to college? If I go to co well, next year is my last year of school. Oh shit, that's right. So, I mean, probably like, okay, if if I had it my way, yeah, I would like to have either. I mean, by by this time, I think I would be done like living with people. I mean, not like parents, but like like places with friends or something. I mean, maybe I still will. Yeah, but I um I hope to 
I wouldn't say a house because, like, our generation, it's going to be really hard for us to get a house. <coughs> like, yeah. it's going to be extremely hard. Um, so I'm saying, like, renting a nice place. Um, hopefully, like, still doing something with not just necessarily YouTube, but just, like, gaming in general. Like, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, no, you st and not even if it's YouTube, just playing games. Yeah, like, just something, something that deals with that, like, YouTube, Twitch, sponsorships, like, a team, something like that. Like, the whole, that whole aspect is just awesome to me. So yeah. So for me to be able to do that for, like, a living and still as a hobby, that would just be amazing. That would actually be really cool. Like, I've always wanted a sponsor. Like, I don't, I don't really care who. Like... Cheetos could sponsor me. I wouldn't. Care. Dude, honestly, I would pick Pringles. Pringles, uh, Pringles are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. That'd be pretty ill having like. No, I pick a beef jerky. Beef, beef jerky. Jerkies. Yeah. Dude, you know who's really big? Who? Doritos. Nah, I don't want. I don't really like Doritos that much. Yeah, but Doritos. I'm talking like money wise. Doritos is huge. Like they buy Super Bowl commercials. All right, you know what? Let's just let's just go to the big one. I'm. I just want Red Bull. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> All right, optic nade shot. Doesn't Dude, Red Bull starts out at like a fifty k a year? That's like they're starting. That's insane. And then you just get a whole bunch of Red Bull. Dude, if you look at it on Optic's page, um, it's nade shot, Scumpy, Merc, and Big Timer. Okay, all of them have like the Elgato sponsorship and like stuff like that. Nade shot's the only one with the Red Bull sponsor. He's the only Dude, one with it. Elgato's been sponsoring everybody. I don't know if it's just me, but well, like Scuff controllers and oh yeah, dude, Scuff is Scuff sponsors everybody. But see, the thing is with these sponsors is I don't know are they paying them or are they just sending them free product? That's what I, that's what I want to know. Well, they they do get paid. Like I don't know if necessarily they pay them, uh, but like you know how they get that little discount code. When yeah. they when they do that and people use their code, they get paid from that. Oh. They get paid from people using the discount code and stuff. That makes sense. Yeah. Like um, who else does it? Like Plinder and uh, Karma Loop and stuff. Like people get paid through that. Yeah, you get a lot of money if you if you have like probably a pop and tag. Give me like, a razor sponsor. Dude, Razor is cr they pay good though. That's the thing, and like they'll pay for you to go everywhere. Yeah, I want to go to like an MLG event or like something. Dude, like, that'd be so ill going to an MLG event. Expect like, dude. Honestly, I really want to go to like one of them. I don't know which one I would want to go to though. Like MLG Anaheim just passed. Obviously, I'm not gonna go to Anaheim, but um. That'd be sick. That would be sick, though. Like, I want to go somewhere. Somewhere, MLG, PAX, something. I want to go to PAX really bad. That's I don't, just, like, PAX is for gaming, girls. and then, what's the one where it's just, like, YouTubers? It's not Comic-Con, is it? VidCon. VidCon, yeah. VidCon's just, like, strictly YouTubers. That actually would be extremely cool. I would do that. I would totally go to that and, like, fanboy people so hard. Dude, I would honestly love to be a groupie fanboy of a YouTuber. Like, they should have that. They should have groupie YouTube hoes, like, if you're famous. Ooh. Ooh. Like, I'd be pretty happy. I'm, I don't know about you. Like, you're not even a subscriber anymore. You're, like, a, a hoe. You're, like, a you're, YouTube You're hoe. literally a hoe. You smashed the YouTube crew. Ooh. See, that could be rough, though. Nah. Dude, all right. Another thing. I don't know if you know... Yeah, I told you about this before, but um, YouTube doing that, like, paid thing where you could pay to subscribe to people. Yeah. How, what do you think about that? Uh, do you have to pay to watch the video? No, I think it's, like, I think it's, like, the ad block thing where you pay the dollar ninety nine to people... Um, and then, like, they get a share from it, but you don't have to ha ever worry about ads on their videos or something. I think that's dumb, because no one's gonna pay. They'll literally just sit through that 30-second ad. Well, I mean, it's not, it's not just that. Like, it's a Twitch Turbo thing. Like, you get more features, too. Yeah, but, Twi I don't know, Twitch Turbo to me, it really, I mean, I haven't bought any uh, subscriptions, but I feel like it's just, you just get to watch it in HD. Eh. 
I mean, I don't think they're going to have, like, just because you're a partner, they're not going to give it to you. I think they're only going to select a few people to have it at first. Yeah. And then maybe they'll do it. Like, I don't know. I want to know more about it. Like, I want them to, like, give us more information about it. Um, I, don't know, I might as well explain it to, like, the viewers. If you guys don't know, um, in our YouTube... Ah! I died! Sorry. <laughs> Damn it, dude. I was like... <laughs> wow. Wow. You're a little girl. Um, in our YouTube settings, there was an option for us to um, apply for like the subscription thing where people pay like a dollar ninety nine or something, and you know they get these special features when they watch our videos and they don't have to worry about ads. And it's basically to help YouTubers um, still get the views and like I guess basically the revenue that they should be getting, uh, but yeah. AdBlock takes it away. Uh, so that's basically what it is. Um, I don't know if everybody could see. I think only partners can see it. But Woody's gamer tag talked about it a long time ago, like I, uh, months ago. I don't like how YouTube. The, I mean, I don't worry about how much money I make because you know I'm not a big channel. But I don't like how they went from you just clicking the video to get a certain CPM to you have to watch it for a certain amount of time to make a certain amount of money. Yeah, like you could honestly, you could get 500 views in a video. And they could watch the whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. But I can make another video where it gets t five times the views, but I make like nothing off of it. It's happened before, and it and on it makes no sense. Well, another thing that I realized is that I mean we don't really see it, but it's the type of ads that are on our videos. The yeah. better the ads, and the more monetized views we get, the more money we get. I also wish that uh, partnership companies they wouldn't partnership everybody and there would be a higher quota to meet. Oh my and god. And they would pay more attention. Like, I mean, I did yes. get on Social Blade, but I do still meet the requirement, like, times five. But the fact that they don't pay attention to it, I think that really a lot of the partnership companies, they're all the same. They just offer bonus extras like a title or they give away a shirt if you join up. It should be they focus on that YouTuber. Dude, there was, um... There was a video that I saw by ML Goody, uh, another RuneScape guy. Yeah. And I guess uh, he's still partnered with this program that I never heard before. I mean, I know who Curse is. Curse is like a big, uh, it's like a big um, organization. I mean, it's a lot of people know it from like the Curse teams for League of Legends, but um, they actually have like a, a program and it's called Union for Gamers and it's a partnership. And I think. They did have, like, a special offer where people could get partnered at a lower thing, but now, like, I think it's strictly you need, like, 5K subs, which is amazing. Well, uh, and they used to have it, so you need, um, or there was, a, there was a set CPM. No matter what, you would always be getting $3 per thousand monetized views. That's how it should be. I, I like that, but I think now it's an, and it was a completely open contract. You could tell anybody about it. Yeah. You, could, you can tell anybody about how much you're making. They don't care. And it was like set requirements, like 5K subs. That is really good. I like that. That means that they're not like some little partnership program that is going to partner anybody. Like, I like that about them. Yeah, I know what you mean. The, the, when Machinima cuts happen, it was ridiculous how, many, how much people were getting paid for their CPM. Yeah. And they lost money too. Like, they dropped Wings of Redemption, and then Wings of Redemption went with full screen, and he lost even more money. Yeah, well, you watched and the Rock Bottom video. Yeah, and full screen is one of those companies where they'll partner basically anyone if you at least get probably like two two point five k views a month. Dude, okay, I don't know if you remember, but when he said that he when he partnered with okay, basically he could have stayed with Machinima, but he would take out they, a huge no, he cut. Dr they dropped him off Machinima. Well, he's no in his rock bottom video he said that he was he could have stayed, but his thing would have been cut a lot. Yeah, like his thing would have been cut, so he. He was gone. He left. When he went to full screen, like he looked at a bunch of different programs, but full screen gave him a sign on bonus. Yeah. Which I thought was like crazy. So like I don't know like what what requirements do you need to get a sign on bonus? Because nobody like like we wouldn't. No one. That. Uh, no one gets a sign on bonus. I know people like Alex's friends that are with full screen. They didn't get a sign on bonus. But Wings does. I don't understand. Probably because he has a large channel, and they want to keep him. They don't want to lose that. Who is he even with now? Um, I have no clue. 
Uh, I mean, he didn't want to. He could have went with a regular YouTube partnership, but he didn't want to because it's a lot harder to like explain like a copyright thing if something would happen than it would be yeah. to a partner program. And I don't know how much Cinema is losing money. Like, well, dude, because they started to partner so many people, and I guess like I don't know, the views weren't making up for. I don't know. I just. I, don't, I wish Machinima didn't partner everybody because back then to get on Machinima, dude, you had to be big. Yeah. And now I don't know. I don't like how there's all these little kids making COD videos. Like COD videos, everyone's following a. I know people follow a format for videos, but have you? Do you watch COD videos like yeah. KOR Speedy type videos that people also try to make? Yeah. It, it's it's horrible, and the fact that people are trolling. It's not trolling, dude. It's like. They literally can go in a lobby and make fun of a kid and they'll put pranking or trolling. But that's not trolling. That's just you going in a lobby and screaming something. You're just being a douchebag. Yeah, it's like, it's nothing special. Well, um, I definitely agree with you, but I have to say something. What? We're at the end. Cuddy. We reached the 20 minute mark. Well, it's, a it's actually like 21 now, I think. If I die at this queen again, Will... I will quit life. Do you want to tell anybody anything before we leave? No. No? Nothing. Wow. Well, then I guess I'll just do it myself. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, remember to leave a sauce all over that like button. Leave a sauce. That's sauce right. all over that like button. Shut up, Dan. Nobody cares about you. <laughs> Dan's link will be in the description. Uh, click it. Go like his video. Make him feel good about himself. He looks like a turtle. Peace! Wow. Uh...